<laughs> Hi guys, it's Melanie with Vintage Makeovers from Melanie with Melanie. How are you guys doing? All right, so here I am um, and I'm going to paint this one and do some fun stenciling on it, some ray stenciling using um, a product from the hardware store. Hi Kathy, hi Jane. Thanks for coming guys. I honestly didn't think anyone was going to come because it's Labor Day weekend, but you're here. Hi Amy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are awesome. Hi Ned. All right. Um, hey. <laughs> okay. So anyways, I have this cool, this cool vintage piece. Um, I had to put a new top on it because the top was totally fried. Um, but luckily I have my tabletop, so I was able to take the old one and cut, you know, just like draw it. I just drew a line around it, traced it, um, and then cut a new top. So that was awesome. Thank God I saved everything because I'm a hoarder, right? Um, anyways, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and paint this one. We're going to do something kind of pretty with it. And then I thought we'd do some race stenciling. And yeah. So, anyways, happy Labor Day weekend. Don't forget, this is Melanie from Vintage Makeovers with Melanie. Um, I do have a YouTube channel with the exact same name, Vintage Makeovers with Melanie, if you want to catch me over there. I've been posting a lot of fun videos and doing all that. My store name is Windmill Vintage Designs. We are in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest under Windmill Vintage Designs. And my website is windmillvintagedesigns.com. So if you see anything that you like and you just must have, um, head on over there and I have these products along with IOD and a lot of cool stuff. Okay, <laughs> you're welcome. Okay, so here we go. Let's start. We are going to, I've been going round and round in my head. I'm like, okay, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? And I think I have finally made up my mind. We're going to start with black velvet. And we, of course, we have a misting bottle. Hi, <laughs> how are you? Hey, okay, we got a misting bottle with water in it. And let's see, we have some white here. We might need it, I don't know. Which white is this? This is B4. So we've got old 57 um, black velvet and B4 go ahead and grab a brush and let's get busy nobody has time for nonsense right okay so I have this piece I cleaned it off I did put some primer on it this guy is um, super like you know sometimes you're cleaning a piece and your rag just keeps coming off dirty 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 um, you know that you're gonna have some bleed through when that happens so some kind of primer is a good idea you can spray it with shellac or you can use another brand of primer. Um, anyways, I did prime this because of that. Not because I was afraid the paint wouldn't adhere, but because I was afraid of bleed through. Um, nothing is worse than painting your whole piece and then having some browns from this old, old wood. These guys were, um, you know, they've been furniture polished like a gazillion times. And this one in particular has all these little deep groovy dudes you can get in there with a toothbrush and scrub your brains out forever, or you can clean it really well and prime it. I'm gonna go with the easier way, okay? So, first thing I'm gonna do is dip into my black velvet. And I'm gonna go ahead and just, I'm just gonna get a little bit on the tip of my brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and start not sure what I'm gonna do at the top yet. If I get some paint up there, I'm not really worried about it. But basically what I wanna do is get my paint into all these recessed areas, these deep little grooves that give this piece so much character. I'm gonna go ahead and get down in there. Do you guys have any questions? My husband is watching so he can answer them for you. Of course, Miss Kathy Cook, Miss Jane, there's so many, so many wonderful DIY retailers watching too that they can answer you also. But Hank is here if you need him, if I don't see your comments in time. 
Hi, Dion. I'm good. Nice to see you. All right, so we're getting that black velvet. Black velvet is not a true, true black. It's more of like a smoky, smoky kind of a black, almost a dark gray, but definitely more on the black side. And we're just getting it really into, so I'm kind of counting, moving along as I'm getting it into those recessed areas. And then I'm gonna go all the way down. Let's go across first. Let's go all the way down this one here. These little side ones, these little bits over here. I'm kind of overlap onto my piece and that's okay. I just wanna kind of, when I do that, when I do overlap, I wanna kind of fan it out. I don't want a harsh line. I don't want to have to work too hard to blend anything. So we're just going to kind of fan it a little bit. And this is a very old piece. It's definitely seen a lot in its lifetime. But it's still super cool. It's got good bones. And I think we can do something pretty fun with it. Again, can you guys see? Is my big old head in the way? Is it hard to hear me? Oh my god, I'm yelling. Um, Pam's checking my phone. Make sure the volume's all the way up. Yeah. Um, louder, please. Ah, okay. Maybe push them forward, honey. Thank you for telling me. Hopefully, okay. Karen can hear me, <laughs> and Janet can hear me. Okay. So some can hear me. Thank you. Um, I will do my best. I'm like, I'm yelling. I don't speak loudly anyways, but now I'm like definitely using my outside voice. So hopefully you can hear me better. All of you guys, but I do appreciate it. If you tell me. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do this middle panel here first. Um, for the sake of getting into all these little dudes down here. It's gonna take a little bit of time. Again, I'm just kind of fanning out my paint. Don't want any harsh lines, so I'm just sloppy town getting it on there. And going up. Let's get the little um, areas down on the legs. <laughs> Thanks guys, I'm glad, but I do appreciate it. I want everybody to hear me, so if somebody can't, I will do my best to correct the problem. And we'll get around our hardware. All right. So I'm gonna kinda keep moving along. I do want my paint to stay a little wet for this one, so I'm gonna not go too far. Just fan that out a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit more, and I'm gonna go ahead and fan out my corners. What a mess that looks like, huh? So uh, anybody do anything fun for Labor Day? I. I'm doing this <laughs> and that is it tomorrow we'll be delivering furniture um, and then we'll be looking for more that is that is our weekend how about you guys anything else hi sissy mine is full blast and I can't hear oh I'm sorry Beth I am speaking so loud I am trying I really am Let me move that let's see if we do it like that maybe when I turn my head unfortunately I do have to turn my head okay so now that we have big mess up here oh Annette I'm so sorry okay guys hopefully that's better I kind of put you to the side the speaker is right here so maybe you can hear me better 
All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna dip into Old 57. Hi, Colleen. Oh, good, Beth, I'm happy to hear that. I, you know what? My earphones don't help. Um, probably need to get some different ones, but they don't. Um, I don't know if now's the, a good time to try to um, experiment with that. I know they don't help for my YouTube videos. Maybe they'd help for this, but I don't wanna experiment right now. Okay, so here on my brush, we have Old 57. We're gonna go ahead and just start. I have my water handy here. And let's just start blending this on here, or getting this on here, basically. I appreciate you guys coming. I do. Oh, Hurricane, what? I don't watch the news. I am so sorry to hear that you're going to have a hurricane. Be safe. Well, that looks gorgeous. Should we just leave it? <laughs> just kidding. Okay. Let's get... Hey, doggy. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of water, and as you can see, that's gonna allow me to start blending my paint a lot more. We're just gonna keep on blending that out until I get rid of any harsh lines, and I like what I see. So far, I don't like it. <laughs> Let's keep going. That happens. I have to tell myself all the time to settle down. My hand is really heavy, especially when I'm live. I tend to get like um, very, ah, you know, try to, I don't know what I try. I get nervous, so I try to overdo it, I guess. So we're just gonna try to chill out start blending this out so it's not harsh we make it into something really pretty right so I tend to go up and down when I blend I really kind of do like a hashtaggy kind of a thing it's kind of my Kind of my way. I don't really want it to look like, um, sometimes it reminds me of, God, what are those lines called? Got that mister at Hobby Lobby. I actually sell these misters, these big ones, but yes, you can find the little small ones at Hobby Lobby. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit more over here. And we'll go on up. And blend that. So I think these two colors are really pretty together. They make a really soft, nice color. Just keep moving your paint back and forth until you get the softness that you're looking for. Don't really like to see where my, where my borders end and where they begin. just going to keep working that until I don't see that anymore. 
All right, how's that looking? Ah. Huh. You got, yeah, you did, Teresa. Awesome. I remember, girl. Um, where's my drink? All right, so to me, it looks a lot softer than it does to you guys. Yours, it looks, it looks a lot harsher in that picture. So I think what we're gonna do, let's add in some white. We're gonna go with some beadboard. Just get, I mean, I'm gonna get like, like that much, okay? I just like, like hardly any. And let's go right here. Let's see if we can just soften it up a little bit more. Lighten it, soften it. Get rid of anything harsh. I don't want any harsh lines. and smooth again. Gentle, gentle. A little sort. Whenever you feel like your paint is dragging, if you feel like you're not getting good movement, you just want to give it a little tiny spritz and um, then you're going to get movement again. That's a wonderful thing about DIY. So being that it doesn't have any acrylics in it or latex is in it you're you're gonna get movement and even if it dries all the way you can reactivate it and get movement whereas other paints you're gonna sit on top of each other you can layer and blend from there but you're not going to be able to reactivate how is that looking yes exactly hairstylists have been using them for years you are right that is how I found the misting bottle. My hairstylist, also my good friend, and the lady that owns the salon right next door to me, um, before I went to boot camp a couple of years ago, she, so Dion had started using a squirt bottle on her stuff, and of course I was watching Dion, and I was getting ready to go to boot camp, and Nettie, my my hair salon lady next door, was like, Mel, you got to try this, the misting bottle. And I was like, what? So I tried it, and I was like, this is great. But, you know, I'm just a little peanut. Nobody knows. Yes, old 57. Um, okay, wait. We're seeing it from an angle. Any chance you could position your camera so we see it straight on? Um... I can sure try. So, anyway, so I'm going to boot camp and I am talking to my friend Kathy, who I'm going to be at boot camp with. And I'm like, um, Nanny gave me this misting bottle. You know, what do you think? Should I bring it? And she's like, Yeah, bring it. So I sent one to Debbie in the mail and um, she didn't say too, too much about it. And then I went to boot camp and I showed it to Dion and she didn't say a darn thing about it. And then, next thing I know, like six months later, everybody's using a misting bottle. <laughs> what the? See, that's what you get. <laughs> it's not it's not who you are, it's who you know. Other way around. <laughs> Anyways. So, that's my misting bottle story. Oops, not this one. Just put it to the right. Okay. Is that better, guys? Or move the piece, put it on. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> I know. Okay. So the whole thing is when I put the thing over here, then my, my um, speaker's over here, so you're going to hear me better. Put it straight in front. You're not going to hear me as well because the speaker's pointing that way, not at me. But anyways, you can see it, right? Okay. Thanks, Amy. All right. So let's, I'm going to spray my brush down a little bit and see what we have. Eh, that's not too bad, right? Okay, so let's go ahead 
Let's leave that. Let's let it dry and see what it looks like when it's dry, okay? Cool. Thanks, guys. All right, I'm going to go back into my old 57 just a little bit, and I'm going to hit my legs. Can you see my legs? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to hit my legs a little bit. Kind of want the paint, the black that I put in the crevices down there, I don't really want to cover that up. So I'm just going to kind of blend this out and fan it. Just kind of spank it. Dust it to get some movement there. And then let's go ahead and grab just a little itty bit again. I'm going to hit this, and I'm just going to go up. Again, I don't want to cover this completely. I want my black to come through. How we doing? Yes, good move. Awesome. Okay. Good, guys. So we have that. I'm going to add a little bit more all 57 up here and blend it. And another spritz. Let's do that. So, nice, cool thing, you know. We won't get to that today, but we have lots of areas that we can do a lot of waxing, a lot of shading, because of all our, our different borders and stuff. So that makes this piece kind of fun. Not digging this right here. See how this line, like it's a little too harsh right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip a tiny bit into my old 57. And let's just activate it again with some water. And let's go up. Let's blend that out. And I'm just going to keep spraying. You don't want it soaking wet because your paint's going to run off your piece. But you get it enough that you can get some movement. Like so. Okay. Let's do this leg over here. I'm gonna move this way. You guys can see. Which dog? <laughs> oh my goodness. So there's a white poodle running around. That is Roxy. And then, I don't know which ones you guys have seen. Um, I have four of them. So Roxy is the white poodle. We've got a basset hound, kind of a mix. answer you. Okay, go ahead, babe. You tell them. Just tell them all of them. All right. I'm going to go down this leg over here. lines we'll just keep kind of fanning it out I'm gonna fan this I'm not gonna do this with you guys I'll do the the sides the same way but we're gonna focus right here okay <sighs> thanks guys okay so let's kind of I'm gonna focus in that middle I'm actually pretty happy with that <sighs> And thanks, babe, for answering, everybody. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to mix up some um, raised stencil materials. So I went to, where did I get this? Michael's. Got this at Michael's today. And it's going to go right there, right? Um, might actually need some tape, babe, because of the wind, if you don't mind. All right, so I have here a paper plate, and we're gonna go down. Let's see if we can do this. The wind is starting to kick up, so you guys are gonna have to hang in there. 
Hopefully you can hear me and see. Can you see right here? Anybody? Because it's gonna blow away on me if I don't hold it between my legs. All right, so I have that, I have a spoon. So this is Durham's wood putty, okay? It's Durham's rock hard water putty. And it's a powder, you can see. Thank you. So what we're gonna do is just put some out on our plate, like so. And let's just, I always tend to make too much, but I'm gonna make too much rather than have to do it again. So obviously there's no measurement here. I'm just gonna get it. Now I'm gonna get my, um, my black velvet, whatever color you want, or you can just use water. But nice thing is that you can just dye this with the paint. So I'm just gonna do that. And let's start mixing it up and see. We are win. What a day, guys. Okay, obviously we need more than that. Pour some of that. This one's almost empty, so I might have to open the other one. And we're gonna need more than that. So cool thing, um, DIY paint. Yes, you can use that. I like the Durham's. It it dries fast, faster than. Um, other compounds like that are made for this, for sure, because those tend to dry, take forever to dry, but it doesn't dry too, too fast, so you do have some work time. So we'll go ahead and mix that up. I got way too much powder. If I was in the garage, I would just like flick it onto the floor, but, <laughs> but I'm not, so let's just keep mixing. So again, you can use the paint to make it whatever color you want, or you can just add water, it'll be yellow, and then you can paint over it. But I don't plan on painting over this if I don't have to. Now, if I mess it up, then obviously I can paint over the whole darn thing, and that'll be fine, but let's try not to if we don't have to, right? Okay, so you can see it's pretty thick, right? Pretty thick. So I'm actually just going to get rid of this waste knot, want knot, right? We'll put that there, lid back on that, get my towel that disappeared. Ah, oh, here it is. Okay. Now we're going to take our putty knife. Let's put this over here and put you guys back up. Flick it on the blanket. <laughs> You're right, it would blow away. Okay, so I don't normally tape it down, but I feel like it's really windy and, you know, so let's, I'm gonna get right in front of you guys for just a second. All right. So now I feel like that's pretty centered. You can see that I'm obviously not a super perfectionist. I didn't measure or anything crazy like that. But I feel like that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Um, that is Durham's Wood Putty. Joanne. Okay. Um, so, does that look pretty centered to you? Babe, can you? No. Might be, hold on, I gotta get up. I think it needs to go this way just a little bit. Right here, honey? Okay. I want it, no, I just want it like center. So center? Oh, down on the right. Down on the right, like that? Mm, no, up the middle on the right. Uh, you're good. And it's even on this side? up on your right. That's good. And this over here is the same as over here? It's close enough. All right. 
All right, guys, we're going with this. Haim said it's close enough. <laughs> what do you guys think? Keep on moving. Down on the right. Do you like it? Okay. All right, so now we've got our, our, stem, our um, putty knife that I've cleaned <laughs> thoroughly. Just kidding. I haven't. It still has um, gray on there. Okay. We're going to go ahead. Let's see. Tape that down again. absolutely not what we're going for but we do want it to look cool so we're gonna go ahead and grab some of our mixture right thanks you thanks Joanne I'm glad you do that that's a, I surely do appreciate that all right and we're gonna go like so we're just gonna kind of drag it down so cool thing about this you don't need it to be all one level one thickness you can have it high spots low spots um, that actually is going to give you more dimension when you start using waxes and glazes and all that fun stuff so really don't freak out about trying to make it perfect it's actually going to be even cooler if you don't make it perfect so, like right here, I'm leaving it thicker. My, I have a tendency to want to smear it too much. And then I'm like, man, why did I do that? Because then I don't get that, like, um, I don't get that thick texture. You know what I mean? No, I'm not left-handed. It's, um, it's a thing. Anyways, okay. Sorry. All right, here we go. So you, you just... Just have fun. Oh, heck. You know what? And if you mess it up, you can sand it right back off and start over. All right. So being that I'm not painting over this, I do want to be careful that I'm not getting it, you know, on the outside. Because that would cause problems for me. Now, if I was putting it on first and then painting my piece, it would not cause a problem at all. All right. Hey, we actually did pretty good. Look, all that I mixed is actually gone. And it kind of looks like chocolate fudge. Huh, make me want some cake. Okay, so we're gonna grab here and here, and we're gonna just go straight off. Ta-da! Okay, then you're gonna take your stencil and you're gonna stick it in the water. Okay, keep it on first. Ah, the wind. And put it in some water so you can actually use your stencil again. Otherwise, you'll have to go out to Joanne's and get yourself a new one, like Melanie, because I don't wash my stencil. Well, I do, I do, but not, not good enough. So. Maybe my husband will come get this. Maybe that will happen. Maybe, I don't know. Okay, so now that we have this guy on here, this germs is gonna dry pretty fast for us, um, but we wanna wait. You just wanna kinda wait for a little bit, and then what you're gonna do, is you're just gonna take your finger, and you're just gonna tap. Like Thank you, babe. <laughs> you got it, you got it. Okay, you're just gonna tap down the high spots. Okay, you can sand them later if you would like, or you can just do it now. And just, I mean, I am just like, you don't wanna, you know what I mean? Just, <laughs> just tap them, okay? That way we still have our texture we don't have any like jagged points and then if we need to go back and sand lightly with a um, you know little sanding sponge or whatever we can totally do that it's already like hardening up for me derms is cool because it's non-toxic it has no odors um, you don't have to worry about any of that stuff so it mixes with the DIY paint very, very well. 
I'll just keep tapping these. Sorry, guys, I'm concentrating. I'm concentrating on my tapping. And so that is a really quick way to do a raised stencil. There are. Um, plenty of mediums out there that are already mixed for you that are made just for this that work really well but this is a very good way to do it that's very affordable and I love that you can mix whatever color paint into it so that you can have um, whatever color you want and you know what that guys is that because well, I'm just gonna do the same things on the side and then I'm gonna paint the top and um, I can't do anything with this until it's completely dry. So if you'd like to see me finish this, please make sure that you follow me on Facebook at Windmill Vintage Designs and follow my YouTube, Vintage Makeovers with Melanie on YouTube. Um, and that is probably where I will be finishing this because I'm thinking I'm gonna do some glazing. So head on over there if you don't mind or if you want to, whatever. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Happy Labor Day, and I will see you soon. Bye.